Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca and I am back with another self-massage video. If you have not checked out the other videos I have in this series, please do so. Today we're going to focus on knee pain. And this is the kind of knee pain that you get a lot when you're running or biking. There are many reasons that you could have knee pain and we're going to focus on the muscular reason. Now, muscle tension can cause severe pain to where you think that your knee might be popping out of place. So this is something that can really help you if you have severe knee pain, but always check with your doctor to make sure nothing serious is going on. And also there are other muscles that can contribute to this that you may not be able to get to yourself. I totally recommend seeing a qualified professional. And in fact, I will leave a link in the description to where you can find a qualified massage therapist in your area that can help you with this. So let's move to the floor and get started with the technique. We are going to work the IT band. Now, a lot of people love to roll out their IT band. And listen, I'm not really going to hate on that. You can roll it out. That's fine. That will soften up some of the tissue. That might just feel good to you. Um, you can also roll out really any part of your body. But here's the deal with the roller. It's very large and it's going to hit a large group of muscles. So it's not specific. It's not going to work out specific points in the muscle. And when it comes to IT, so your IT band is a continuation of your tensor fascia lata muscle. The muscle turns into the IT band, which is down below your knee. And the gluteus maximus also has some attachments to the IT band. Now, the job of this IT band is really for stability. You're never going to get it loose. You don't want it to be loose. It needs to be stable and it needs to be strong in order to keep you erect and you don't want it to be overly restricted. It can pull on your knee and really cause a lot of pain here. So the IT band is not a muscle. It's just thick connective tissue. It's made up of fascia primarily. And what fascia really likes are two things, moist heat and stretching. Not the kind of stretching that you would stretch a muscle and there's a lot of IT stretches and listen, again, not gonna hate on them because they're actually really stretching the muscle, not so much the IT band. The way that you stretch the IT band is different than how you stretch a muscle. So to stretch the IT band, you actually, and you can lay on your side. So this is really good, just lie comfortable on your side, press your hand here. But for purposes of the video, I'm just gonna keep the same position and show you how to do it. So you are going to take your hand and just suction it to your leg. Just going to stick to it like a little frog and what you want to do is keep your fingers attached to the skin but don't press into the IT band into the muscle that's too too deep you want just to have a hold of the skin see how I can just move the skin that's what you're going to do okay so you're going to come anterior we'll go posterior you can go inferior and superior and any other direction in between and what you're looking for is restriction. So if I push inferiorly and I'm feeling a restriction, I actually kind of feel that in my gluteal, gluteal area right now, and I'm just going to hold that. This may look like I'm doing nothing, but I'm in fact stretching the IT band because I'm stretching the fascia. This is stretching it by basically moving the skin and the fascia is underneath the skin and then there are muscles and bones underneath those layers. So you just find the restriction and it could be, you know, if I'm pulling superiorly, I can feel some restriction and I'm feeling a little bit more in the um, lateral aspect of my knee. And you just hold that. Ideally, you wanna hold this for at least 90 seconds. And that is because it takes 90 seconds to affect the collagen fibers and collagen makes up fascia, elastin and collagen. 60 seconds is how long it takes the elastin, but 90 seconds to get to the collagen. So you wanna hold each one for about 90 seconds. And you just do that over and over um, until you, know, you either have spent the time that you need on it or it does feel better. Now what else you can do is take the IT band and do something that's called juxta position, which you just do this motion and you are just moving the fascia. So the fascia goes straight, basically, you know, straight and you're just curving it and that will help to loosen it as well. And you can do that all the way up. 
Now I find that to be the best technique for working the IT band. Now to get moist heat, I have heard they sell moist heating pads on Amazon. Now what I would recommend is taking a hand towel, getting it wet with hot water, wrapping it around your leg, then wrapping your leg with plastic wrap, and then laying your heating pad over your leg. And this will allow you to have the moist heat from the towel, but you're not going to have wetness on your heating pad. So that plastic wrap will be the barrier. And really any sort of plastic wrap, you could honestly use like a garbage bag. It doesn't have to be the actual uh, plastic wrap like from the box. Those are my best techniques for helping paralateral pain that is associated with running and biking and really all the things that we do. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything and let me know if you have any other areas of pain or tension that are bothering you that you would like me to speak more of, maybe create a video about. I would totally love to help you out with that. Now some other things to consider in addition to what we were talking about today is making sure that you're getting enough water. Hydration is so important with overall health, but definitely with exercise and overworking these muscles, you need the proper rest. So you should not be running five miles a day. You have got to take some time off and listen to your body. Plus rest as in getting a good quality night's sleep is gonna help too, because that's gonna allow you to really recuperate. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Go do something good for yourself now. Like self-massage. Bye.